it's very humbling. Um, when I never thought when I was here that I'll be back in this capacity at some point. And when I look at the the class of awardees and the people who have received this award in the past, I feel even more humble and honored. And uh, I know there are many more in, in, in my batch and related who have been doing very well and uh, have made contributions. So I work in an area that is uh, known as cyber physical systems. It's an intersection of electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, computer science, and other air application areas. And what that means is that the systems of future and the systems that are only coming up are a combination of what we are used to with mechanical systems, but also with electronics and controls that goes along with them. Now, most common examples of those are your car, for example, uh, but they're also uh, industrial control systems, there are HVAC systems in buildings and so on. And when you look at these uh, systems, they're becoming much, much more interactive and much, much more responsive, not only to what these, the, uh, the uh, systems are or hardware systems they control, but also the people that are there. So for example, a building responds to an individual need or a group of people who are in a, in, in a building. And so I work on methods to make them programmable, methods to make them uh, intelligent, methods to do analysis. I think SMRT is a brilliant stroke, very far-reaching and very visionary. So Director Karandikar and, and the entire team who have done this conceptualizes. I cannot thank them enough and I cannot believe that, that there are organizations like this that think so far ahead. So the unknowns of life are many more than the knowns of the physical world. And the living world is where the unknowns are going to be explored, going to be have new products, new technologies, new methods, new means of, of solving those problems. Where will that talent come from? IIT is the place that picks up the topmost talent. So SMRT is absolutely the right way to, uh, to build it and it's actually a very expensive way. Uh, usually you need a hospital or something uh, for clinicians to working with. I know this because uh, we've been doing some of that at UC San Diego. And I think uh, for IIT to make the right partnerships and build a talent pool in the life sciences area that con connects and interacts closely with technology areas. Going to L7 I think it's L10, L20 now, uh, uh, for uh, movies in the evening. That was a special time. Um, that was the break, you know, we would have uh, movie runs uh, in the same with lecture hall where we would be attending our physics classes, for example. That was a break. Um, the, uh, the, uh, the mess food was less than desirable. And what that meant was that uh, Sometimes it gave us the excuse to walk to the gate and get a aloo paratha or something like that. And we didn't realize it, it wasn't the food actually, it was also some of your best friends who accompanied you. Um, being in computer center uh, with the new deck 10 that had arrived uh, with very fancy terminals, uh, you know, I take, had taken time to spending quite many hours there. Um, I was also part of astronomy club and uh, some of us, uh, some of the other classmates had built a 8 inch uh, reflector tele telescope. Just watching and looking at the sky at that time was, uh, you know, among the fondest memories I have. IITK is a birthplace. You open your mind's eye in IIT. When you're born, <laughs> you open your eyes and you see the world. IIT is that period of time when you really understand the meaning behind the words you see and the meaning behind what you see. And it is even more important now because what you read today may not be accurate, may not be correct, might be misleading. Um, be very critical. And so make use of that time. Um, you will learn technical skills, no question about it. IIT 
is world class in that. It has been designed to do that. Uh, whether it's fluid dynamics or computing or uh, uh, mechanical strengths of materials and so on, you will learn those subjects very well. The part that is not, at least we didn't appreciate it until we actually saw the effect of it, were the humanities courses. These courses that allowed us to find the right language to say what we wanted to say and say what we mean. <laughs> um, find the right uh, context in which to read a subject. I did a lot of philosophy courses, but whether you do philosophy or economics or uh, social sciences, you open yourself to a much richer world. That world may not contribute immediately to your um, uh, income earning potential, but it contributes to your richness of life, especially in later years.